Hey everybody, this is Carl from carlsapti.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to make headers uh, as well as how we can change the font type and the font colors and in the next video after this I'll be showing you how to change the font families. So the first thing we want to do is focus on the headers. Now the header does not necessarily have to go within the body of the text. This is because the header is independent of the actual body. So either way, uh, wherever you put it, there will always be a new paragraph after the header title. So the tag for a header is h1, but the size of it can range from h1 to h6. Uh, so let's try this. So let's call this um, my new page and then end the tag by putting forward slash h1 in the angle brackets. Save the document and then refresh the page and now you have this. So let's have a look at what it would look like if it was h3. Now it's a much smaller and h6 as I'm sure as you can tell would now be the, the smallest of the lot. There you go. For the purposes of this tutorial, I'll leave it as H1 because that makes it easier for everyone to read. Okay, so now the next thing we're going to be looking at is how we can change the font size. So first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to make a, a new paragraph and let's call this, I want to make this text uh, font size 10 and then let's end the paragraph there so the first thing we're going to be doing is we can simply go to the start and we're going to use another tag and this is your font tag now after the font tag you're going to put a space and then you're going to put font and then you're going to put size which is equal to um, and let's give it a variable as 10 because that's what we've asked for now the size is the attribute to the actual tag and the 10 in the inverted commas is the size of the variable now when we're closing a pair of tags which have got attributes, you never have to uh, close the actual attribute, you only have to uh, close the actual tag. So when we're doing it, it will be forward slash font close angle brackets. So now let's save this and let's refresh the page. So as you can see here, uh, it says I want to make this uh, font size 10 and it is in size 10. Now let's say I wanted to make this font size 5. So all we're going to have to do is put another pair of inverted commas and in the middle put 5, save this, refresh the page and it will be at size 5. Now what we're going to be doing next is we are going to be, we are going to be changing the font color uh, of the actual text. So let's make another paragraph and say I want to make this text red uh, close tag okay so how can we make this red all we have to do is simply use another attribute called style now style is used for a whole variety of different reasons and when during the tutorials you'll see this uh, function or you'll see this attribute even come up many many times so you're going to have the p style is equal to so the paragraph style is equal to color colon and since we want it as the color red we'll make it as red end the speech marks save and remember since there is since we don't have to close uh, the attribute for style we leave it as just we're just leaving it as closing the paragraph so now when I refresh the page um, I want to make the sentence red is now in the red text color. So let's let's try this with another example of making my uh, header blue. So make h1 
style is equal to uh, in inverted commas color colon blue end speech marks save and refresh the page and now if you look here the text is now my new page is blue this though can get very hassly so if you don't want to have to keep doing this so let's make a third um, sentence or a third paragraph and let's call this uh, I want to have a text of 15 pixels with a color of green so what I'm doing here is I'm going to be using two variables or two of the tags but only in one of the sentences so all I'm going to have to do here is put pa the paragraph style is equal to color uh, and the color we wanted is green space and then we want a semicolon now the semicolon will separate the color from the next uh, variable that we're going to be using which will be the size of the text or the font size so now we're going to put font size with a hyphen in the middle colon and then let's say we wanted 15 pixels and since this is the end of the variables we can now uh, end the speech marks and that's that so save this refresh the page and now we have a now we have a sentence which has got a text color of green and it's got a font size of 15 pixels uh, thank you for watching and the next tutorial will be about how we can change the font type of the actual text that we're going to be using thank you very much for watching I'm Carl from carlsapti.com